Hey guys, welcome back. It's Melody and today we've got a video on organization for the bathroom. We've got Pat here and we would like to tell you guys Merry Christmas and we hope it's been a merry year actually and a happy new year for the next one. I know next year is going to be amazing. I have complete confidence that next year is going to be amazing. And I collect data as best as possible so that I can live an efficient and orderly life with meaning because that's the other side of order is meaning. And so I definitely, I'm very confident that we are going to go through this new year. We're gonna get our schedule in order. We're gonna get the internal state in order and things are going to be really good. I really enjoy seeing what everybody is up to, taking part in some of the holiday trends and Star Wars obviously goes right along my interests. And so taking part in trends makes sense because it affiliates you with people that have similar things in common and it kind of is the glue that binds a society together in a certain way. And also this reflects me because it has some physics on here. And physics was one of my favorite courses. This says force equals mass acceleration times acceleration. But they have velocity over time, which equals acceleration. But if they were a minimalist, they would put F equals MA. So if you're a minimalist out there who silk screen t-shirts, let me know. Link this shirt below. I've actually never worked together with anyone except for I worked together with the shampoo that I've used for years and years. Cleaning itself is not my passion. It's devising a system that works. And when it comes to systems that works, you want to make sure you're not making decisions that's going to create more work for you. So you always want to keep the future in mind. Always keep the future in the back of your head. Not to steal your present contentment. That's not how you use it. You use it to make good choices now. So this towel is a great choice for your bathroom because it's a Japanese type of towel and it's waffle weave. So it dries very quickly. And also it is very thin. So it takes a very little, little visual space. It's not like a spa towel, obviously, but the value that I get out of a towel like this is worth it for me. In your bathroom, very little things should be causing lint. One of the very few things that are causing lint is you, your clothes and your towels. So therefore, when you take off your clothes, you wanna put them in the hamper if you can, as soon as possible. And your towels, you wanna to make sure your towels are as lint free as possible. And you will have a lot less cleaning to do. And also, you start the laundry, throw your towels in. You don't need to worry if it's shedding lint all over everything. So this gets softer after a couple of washes, so two or three washes, but this isn't like sandpaper. I had to try a couple of them before I found the one that I wanted. If you're about my size, which is a small or extra small, you can use a compact towel, but I have three. And I have three because I use one as my hand towel because it, it's my personal bathroom. So I use one as my hand towel and then I use one for my hair and one for my body. Okay, so I don't need a bath mat because if you put your hair up, then water's not all dripping down and ending up on the floor. There you go. That makes it so simple. That is a good choice. When it comes to hardware in the bathroom, I like to keep it clear. Clear, that's just my shtick. So everything that's clear is for me. I really like clear hardware and when it comes to the hooks in the bathroom and also for my laundry hamper. And of course my laundry hamper is floating because I like things to be floating. And I'm looking for a beaker right now because I'm gonna keep my alcohol that I use to clean the mirrors. I'm gonna keep my alcohol in a beaker because it will look a lot better than in a plastic container. Add your personality and my personality is efficiency. And if there's any creativity in it, it's to be more efficient. Yes, everything serves efficiency. But you can add extra stuff like plants and also if you sew, many of you sew, you can put things up on the wall that you've made together or if you paint you can put paintings and put your own personal style into it i love soap dispensers because they make a lot of sense if you're going to put these up definitely use silicone glue because they will fall off the wall otherwise and make sure you put them on the far end of the faucet because that is the most efficient it will get the, the fewest water droplets so i have five of them and that's because I need, I don't like having any bottles in my bathroom and I have my face wash and my eye makeup remover in one. I have my night cream and lotion in one and then shampoo, conditioner, body wash. So that's five, but you might need less bottles. So whatever you need to get, getting them all elevated looks amazing. So simple human soap dispensers makes it look like a spa because there's a lot less labels and when it comes to the medicine cabinet and underneath the sink 
my most used things are right underneath the sink. My toothbrush and a few items that I use like my deodorant and a couple of things like my hairbrush. But you want to organize things according to most used and then keep other things on the periphery. You want to organize according to most used all of the time. When you're thinking about things, how to organize things, you've got to think about what you touch all of the time and then organize it in that manner. That's about, I don't make it super complicated. I just keep the what is essential for me. And what is important to me, my projects that I'm working on, socialization and also reading and things like that. And those things don't have to do with the external. So I keep it really basic because I like to have a pragmatic and simple simple appearance. The second to the last thing that I want to talk about is that you want to make sure that everything is combined as much as possible. So for instance, I have my face wash and my my face wash and my eye makeup remover in one. If you can, you want to combine everything into one as much as possible. And I use my razor very sparingly because I got lasered last year. But the point is, is that when you make decisions to make things as efficient as possible, as much as possible, there are so many ways to do this. And maybe you like the luxury of certain products like a mask and things like that. As for hair items, I keep it in the closet because I don't use a lot of heat on my hair. I view myself as somebody who cleans so that things are pristine. And so I keep my cleaning products down to about five total cleaning products in my entire house. So I keep it bare bones. If you have skin problems or other things like that, stomach issues, you take a lot of medication as much as possible. I'm not saying not stop taking those things that you need, but I'm saying as much as possible to work underneath those problems and see if there's anything you can change. Anything you can try in your diet different. Anything you can try in your lifestyle that's different. Anything that's weighing on your emotional state that's manifesting on all these areas is there anything that's affecting what is affecting what so really get down to the issues and uh, treat those issues as they're happening definitely but get down to them and see if you can eliminate them completely because for instance I used to have a lot of stomach issues but these days because I know what foods work well with my body and my emotional state is in a good place I am very orderly and my life has meaning, then a lot of the issues just disappeared. Especially when you're my age, definitely if you have a lot of issues, a lot of issues, psychological issues or otherwise, then you want to, I'm not saying not to treat them, like look for what affects what and see if you can move things a little bit and get products down that way as well. Some things cannot be overcome. For instance, some people, because of genetics, they will have more problematic skin but even so you want to do your part as much as you can in the issues within the issues and then the last thing that I want to say is I like to keep things organized with velcro the stronger the velcro the better because for sure it's not coming off the wall and I like to keep things elevated I just get little containers lately I've been getting into woodworking and probably you will see in my new apartment I'm gonna have more wooden things and use velcro on the wall like that against the wall and use very thin wood elevating things makes a huge difference it's my q-tips I always pay attention to how many q-tips I should get so I buy like 300 at a time instead of 500 because they're not gonna fit in that container so when you get containers pay attention to what will fit in there as well and if you are reduced your impact you reduced your footprint on things that makes sense logically because you have to buy a lot less oftentimes you have items that you don't have to keep on replacing and replacing and replacing so it just makes so much sense I use my paper towels my reusable paper towel sometimes on my body. Put a little bit of sugar or something and just rub it lightly over if I want to buff my skin a little bit. That rarely happens but my point is is that use what you have and use ingenuity creativity to make things work and to make it serve your personality and your family. So I hope that this video helped you out. Thank you guys so much for all of the support over the past few years. I really appreciate all of you guys and I will see you guys next Sunday, but on Facebook and everywhere else. I will see you guys as well. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas.